Xbox is poised to blow Sony out of the water this coming console generation, and the reveal of the Series X and their new financing plan is proof of that. So let's get into this. Uh, right here, a couple hours ago, uh, we had the Xbox Series S announced officially. It had been rumored and leaked for months and months and months now, so we all knew that this was coming. I believe it was... I don't know if this was Project Scarlet or uh, that was just the Series X, but either way, we've known about the Series S coming out being official for a long time. So it was just a matter of when and how Microsoft was going to reveal it, the pricing behind it. And here it is. So we look at it right here. We know the Series X is the bigger tower black and uh, this Series S right here, as you can see, there is no... Um, there's no disk drive, so we're going all digital with this, and it's, if we play in the video, we can actually see it's quite small, so they came out with the trailer here, I'm gonna mute it. Um, if you watch the trailer, it's actually, when I first saw it, it reminded me of Sony's reveal trailer of the PS5, kind of with the morphing liquid and stuff, so, whatever. It's just, I mean, it's just a cool animation, so. But we can see right here, oh, right. Get this out of here right there you can see the size difference so it's nearly 60 percent smaller than the series x so this is going to be a small machine we're looking at a i don't know just a nice little almost like a, a dvr box for your tv but people are kind of complaining about this this uh the black grill i kind of like it i think it gives it a little bit of character over just having the plain white box um Let's see, there's a part where it will show all the features right here. So here's where we see the features of the Series S and we had assumed that it's going to be a cut down version of the Series X. We're kind of looking at that right here. So 1440p is not quite 4K, but <clears throat> we're still getting 120 frames per second, which is awesome. Obviously that'll vary between games, stuff like that. Ray tracing in the Series S <clears throat> is something that uh, I personally did not think they would keep when downgrading the system. You would think that ray tracing would be one of the first things to go to cut costs, but that is still there. Uh, variable rate shading, refresh rate, stuff like that. Low latency, that's a lot of kind of yada yada. Um, custom 512 gigabyte SSD. And I earlier in the video, it says that it's an NVMe SSD. So obviously it's a way faster than any kind of hard drive and uh, even just regular old solid state SSDs, NVMe is gonna be a lot faster as well. <clears throat> 512 gigabytes is a little questionable, not concerning, but just because it is an all digital edition and you're going to be downloading your games instead of having them on a disc, 512 gigabytes is not going to be a whole lot of space in this era of gaming. You know, you have games like Assassin's Creed that can take 80 gigabytes, 100 gigabytes, you get DLCs and stuff. So I would assume that this 512 gigabyte SSD is probably going to hold six games, not, e not even 10 games. We'll, we'll put it that way. Um, 4K streaming media playback, so you know, Netflix, YouTube, you can watch in 4K on your TV. And if you do have a 4K TV, they have uh, upscaling. So it's not gonna be native 4K, but if you upscale 1440p to 4K, so you're just gonna like, you know, just quadruple that again, um, it's not gonna look terrible. Obviously, uh, I personally don't have quite as much experience with 4K, so um, I don't have too much to say on that. But the fact that it's there is, Awesome, so you can get 4K gaming out of this digital console that is priced at $299. There were rumors that it'd be $199. That was a little, little far-fetched, but uh, $299 is the price, which is a really good price. But what's even better about that price is not just the fact that it is less than last-gen consoles, but because Microsoft has announced Xbox All Access for Xbox Series X and S. And I believe that they had this All Access plan for the Xbox Ones, but for them to have it for this generation is gonna be sweet. So if we go in here, um, 
main thing right here how much does xbox all access cost this is from GameSpot. so the series s is confirmed to cost 299 while windows central reports it'll also have an all access cost of 25 dollars a month so <clears throat> kind of like you pay for a phone you can pay for your xbox for 25 bucks a month and the crazy part about this uh not only 25 bucks a month for the series s but you could also do 35 dollars a month for the Series X. So you can get the more powerful one for $10 more a month. And I believe it is a two year contract that you would be signing up for. So it is a contract technically. So you kind of, you are stuck in there, but what you get with the, with the contract and with the, the all access bundle is pretty awesome. So considering all Xbox, Xbox All Access is reported to include Game Pass Ultimate. You're actually saving money going this route. So GameSpot kind of did some uh, math breakdowns for us. So if you're paying $25 a month over two years for the Series X, you'll pay a total of $600. So you're technically paying double the uh, MSRP of the console if you get the, the Series S here, but you're getting Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which over two years, would cost you $360. So you're saving $60 overall, right? And with that, you get everything included with Game Pass Ultimate. So that's uh, multiplayer online, you get Xbox Game Pass with all the games in it. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, here they, they also break down the price for the Series X, uh, still saving you 20 bucks. So not as big as a, a price savings, but uh, price savings nonetheless and the fact that they have this option for a lot of people that can't upfront uh, what is it $500 for the Series X or even the, the $300 for the, the Series X, S you have this option to get the console and with Xbox Game Pass play whatever you want right out of the gate you don't have to worry about paying the extra $60, $70 if you're uh, NBA 2K for a an actual game you can just plug and play basically so that's a really really sweet deal personally um i don't i prefer to have a disc drive physical discs but a lot of people are moving over to digital i think the design of the console is really cool i like this a lot better than the series x um but it's also, you know, you got to think this is Xbox kind of trying to play the market of PC uh, with the whole philosophy at, at Microsoft and Xbox having almost no exclusives to the Xbox itself. Everything can be played on PC. It kind of makes it obsolete for uh, people like myself that have a gaming PC that can play these games. But for people that don't, this is really enticing, especially if we look at the PS5 and kind of the rumors going around about that pricing being around uh, the same thing that we're looking at here for the Series X, $499, and then maybe $399 for the all digital. I don't know why, aside from the games, I don't know why anybody would go with a PS5 over an Xbox in this next generation so and i i don't know if i mentioned also but it's going to be released on november 10th so microsoft did this we got this dope announcement we got prices we got a release date microsoft came in swinging today and i'm pretty sure sony is coming up in a couple days here they there were some rumors going around that pre-orders are going to be up on either tomorrow or thursday so Microsoft beat them to the punch and it was quite a sucker punch if you ask me. So we'll be keeping an eye on this and um, we'll see what Sony does to respond. I have a feeling that we're not gonna be able to match this and we might have a repeat of the PS3 on our hands here with the next console generation. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below uh, if you're gonna buy a series s or x i probably won't because like i said i got my gaming pc but it looks really slick i really like this series s i really like it and i think that the deal that microsoft is giving people with this all access is beyond uh 
what people need right now in terms of the gaming market. So that's going to do it. We'll see how Sony responds.